Hi, I'm William, and in this episode of Weekends with William, Science Edition, we are going to be doing two candle experiments that you can do at your home or at school uh, with your science teacher and, you know, things like that. And uh, here's something I need to say here. This, of course, involves fire, so if you're under 18, make sure a trusted adult is nearby, and if you're over 18, uh, use this with caution. I already have that good, so I think we can move on. So, what we're going to need for this first experiment is just a candle and a lighter. It, you can use a, um, a scented candle, a birthday candle, um, little these little candles here, anything, any kind, as long as it's a candle, that'll work. So, I think this works with beets wax. This is a paraffin, so... Anyway, what I want you to do, I'm going to turn this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this, okay? I'm probably going to put it in a stand like this so we can do this easier. And then uh, we're going to let it burn for about 10 seconds. And then what I'm go you're going to do is you're going to blow blow it out gently and then you're going to light the smoke that comes up from the candle. And it's going to reignite. So here we go. Hang on. I did this wrong. Okay. See that? Here. We'll do it again. Okay. Wait. One last time. See that? There we go. Now the reason why this happens here is because, um, see candle wax here, when it's lit, it vaporizes, increases the flame, and when you extinguish it, that smoke is very flammable. So you can light that, and it will jump back to here. And that's actually how, um, those magic, um, prank um, candles work. They put on birthday cake. They keep reigniting. Because there's little magnesium metal in there and uh, when you light that, that's still hot and that's enough to ignite that. So, that's how uh, those self-igniting candles work. So, with that done, we can move on to the next experiment. This here is personally my favorite. It is the classic candle vacuum. All you need for this is a candle, a dish, plate, something like that, some water, and a cup, a lighter, and if you want, you can add some food coloring to this water so you can see it better. So what you want to do is you want to light your candle. You're going to light your candle, and then you're going to let it burn for just, again, a uh, about 10 seconds or so and we're gonna have this wax drip off okay we're gonna drip it off into the plate and then as soon as we have some of that melted wax there we're gonna blow it out and s hold it onto the wax and, hang on you're going to take it and uh, you're gonna melt it until it a big blob of wax drips onto the plate and that's and you have to do it while it's still molten, so you have to do this a little quickly. So, uh, you can just, it's probably best that you hold it like this and then, uh, hold it there. There we go. There we go, now we got it. Now you just hold it there and uh, it will stick, hopefully. Okay, good. Now, then you're going to take the water here, and you're going to carefully add it to uh, the dish. Okay? Now, because it's kind of hard to see it on camera, I'm going to add a little bit of blue food coloring so that you guys can see it easier. And <clears throat> you don't have to do this because I'm just doing it so that you guys can see the movement of the water. Okay? 
So I'm just going to mix this around just a little bit. Not too hard, otherwise the candle's going to break off, and that's not going to be fun. Because then you're going to have to dry it off, and all that stuff. So anyway, that's all mixed. Now, what you want to do is, I want you to light the candle. Okay, just light that candle. Let it wait until it's fully burn burning. Then you're gonna place the cup upside down over it. Okay, I I prefer a glass cup. I'm gonna use a plastic for this. It's not gonna melt it necessarily, but okay. Here we go. Just gonna place it right over it, and then watch. The water is gonna be sucking up into the glass here as all the oxygen burns out. Okay. Here we go. See that? That water's sucking up into there. And uh, it, in some cases, it'll suck up all the water, and then you can put your hand on here and flip it, and then uh, it you can turn upside down, remove the plate, and you'll have all that liquid back in the cup. So that's a nice way to challenge someone to that they can suck up all the water into a glass upside down. So, uh, that's that, and if you uh, take it off, it spills there. So yeah, that's how that works. So, that's all you need for that. It's not, it's not one of these super advanced experiments here, it's just, you pretty much, as with the first one, that was so simple, all you need is a candle and a lighter, but this one isn't too advanced, but it, again, it's this is fire, so be careful with it. Have an adult if you're under 18, and you know, don't do anything wrong or anything. Don't don't burn down a house or the school or something like that. You know. So anyway, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to rate, uh, thumbs up this video, comment about uh, future idea you'd like, subscribe to my channel. And get, make sure to get out there and make something.